Genetic counselling is not psychotherapy. It's not long-term therapeutic counselling. It's a very um, specific discipline within medicine where um, genetic counsellors and clinical geneticists deliver information about genetics um, in a sensitive, patient-centred way, very tailor-made to the patient situation. Genetic counselling deals with the whole family, so it's not just about an individual patient. A very typical person who might come for genetic counselling at the moment has a family history of a particular condition, so it might be something like, say, breast and ovarian cancer. So the person comes because they have many relatives who've been affected and they're concerned that they may also become affected in the future. So as genomics moves into mainstream medicine, it will be used across many areas of the health service. Oncology, dermatology, ENT, um, in paediatrics, in obstetrics, it's going to be used across the board. For many patients, it's going to be cheaper and easier to look at a whole genome. So you're using the information that you get from the sequence to work out a disease prediction, um, to work out whether a diagnosis is, is correct or not. You're working out whether a patient might respond to certain treatments. When you introduce genomic sequencing technologies into mainstream medicine, what you're doing is opening up answers that are relevant to that patient, but also potentially for their family. So a patient may come with questions specifically about themselves and then leave with answers that are relevant to their siblings, their children, their parents. And so healthcare pro professionals who are dealing with genomic medicine need to realise the impact of genomics, not just on the individual, but also the family. So as we move forward, um, we need to understand whether it's going to be genetic counsellors who are doing genomic counselling or whether it's going to be genetic counsellors helping to train and support the mainstream healthcare workforce to do genomic counselling or whether across mainstream medicine people just will be having conversations using genomic data and it won't be genomic counselling. All of these things are up in the air and genetic counsellors need to be part of the conversation and it's a really exciting and proactive time for the genetic counselling profession.